Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video, I'm Get Good Guy, and today I have something of a public service announcement for you guys. If you've been playing Battlefield 5 recently, some of you may have felt like you're having some issues with staying alive, more so than normal. And not just because you suck, although maybe you do, I don't know, I've not seen you play. I mean, some people have to suck, but either way, no, this week there have been some complaints about some funky feeling time to death moments. So I figured I'd provide a bit of coverage of it to hopefully put some of your minds at rest. I don't want you guys out there freaking out and breaking control and keyboards and whatever else. So the latest update included Operation Underground in it, which is a new map for those of you who aren't aware. I'm featuring gameplay from other maps though today as I don't want you guys to get super bored of just seeing the same map over and over. Now that map though, as many of you will know by now if you've played it, has some super intense action, a lot going on within confined areas and a totally different feel to the other maps in the game. And it's received a majority positive reception from the player base so far. But with this being Battlefield 5, of course not everything can work properly, so due to probably all the action, the amount of people in small areas, the fact it's a new map and whatever else, where well, there are some serious frame rate drops and performance issues on Operation Underground. And drop frames can of course result in you not receiving all of the visual information you need and would expect. So whereas an enemy may have peeked you, lined you up and landed 4 bullets to kill you, for example, well on your screen you possibly had no chance if the performance issues are affecting you at that point. To you, it may have appeared that the enemy popped out and drops you with a bullet or two before you could react. And who's to say how deep the performance issues run? It could be frames being dropped, it could be networking, we have no idea. It could be both. Now I've had a few instances on Operation Underground where I've been, let's say, confused about the outcome of a gunfight. Things just don't seem to line up. It's kind of reminded me of what it felt like when this game had some serious time to death issues before, earlier on in its life cycle. Now whether it's the same issue or not, it doesn't really matter. It feels the same, which can be frustrating. Now at first I figured, well, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm playing badly, or my mind is playing tricks on me. Maybe I'm making excuses for myself, as we all do sometimes. Yes, you include it, we know you do. And maybe some of the time, that is the case. It's possible. But I've actually seen quite a few clips from other people where things don't seem right. And I've seen many more asking if there's an issue. And with DICE now having come out and confirmed there are performance issues on Operation Underground, well, it would all seem to make sense that it's affecting the time to death experience. Less frames, less feedback more confusion. Now I have also heard some people claim that the recent update affected performance on all maps or multiple maps. Personally, I've only really noticed it on Operation Underground, and to me that would make the most sense as it's the new map, but I figured I'd mention it just in case. It's possible it's across the rest of the game to some extent, and maybe you've had some problems with it. Feel free to let me know in the comments below. Actually, before we go any further, I want to say that I don't bring this to you today as a complaint, it's just purely to inform you guys. Along with confirming that there are performance issues, DICE have said they intend to work on it for future updates, so that's a positive and it's why I'm not really complaining. But but what they mean by in a future update, we of course don't know. You can never say with dice. But I hope a fix doesn't take too long, as the new map is pretty fun when it works properly. And we don't need more insta-death problems after putting up with them for so long before. It is a shame, of course, that new experiences on this game always seem to bring some new problems with them as well. But in this instance, I'm a little more forgiving. At least this time, it kind of makes sense. Big new map, lots of action, hard for the game to deal with, etc. I'm not excusing it as such, but I do understand more so than normal, and it's less concerning than some of the stuff that we've had before. Like Invisible Soldiers, for example. Remember that? That seems so crazy now. We really have had some incredible bugs in this game. Like, I'm trying to think of what the most ridiculous bug is that we've had. Invisible Soldiers is definitely up there. And actually, I love that we still have T-posing soldiers sometimes. You know, where they're stuck rigid just floating around the map. It always makes me laugh. Oh, and that's one that just popped in my head, the spotting bug, where killing someone put you on the radar back when the game was first released, or at least they said it was a bug, perhaps it was a design feature and they decided to drop it once people complained, I don't know, but yeah, that was an interesting one for sure. In fact, also drop in the comment section below what the most ridiculous Battlefield 5 bug is that you've seen. That should be an interesting read through. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked here. So of course, there may be some pushback to what I'm saying today, as always. Whenever you report on a potential bug or issue, you get some some people saying it's categorically not true because they haven't experienced it or noticed it. The irony being that this is the section for them, but they've almost certainly clicked off the video by now because that's almost always the case. 
but it's important for me to say that there have been many times in this game that some people have had or noticed an issue that others haven't. For example, did you know that some people still have crazy stuttering and freeze frames on this game? Not too many people when compared with the wider player base, I don't think, in relative terms, but some, and I've seen the footage of it. Whereas I haven't had a significant stuttering issue myself for months, I don't think. So, you know, keep that in mind. Oh, and I should mention here, actually, as this just popped into my head also, I did read that the performance issues will be evident or at least more evident when you first start playing Operation Underground, as in for your first few games if you haven't played it before, as it builds up the shader pack or I don't know, it builds up something, I can't remember it, I can't find the tweet, but it actually puts things in place for the map to work while you're playing it. I don't know game design but that sounds kind of odd to me, especially as this is apparently causing performance issues, but maybe they got weird coding or too much to deal with, I don't know, whatever. If it means that the performance issues may only be temporary then cool and again it felt necessary to mention it. You may notice less issues the more you play. Of course, it would be funny if that's just a ploy to keep you playing. Imagine the irony. You're playing more to try to clear up the performance, and all you're doing is playing through more bad performance and getting more frustrated. What an epic gamer moment. Now, my tip would be try to peak corners less. If you want to avoid this happening, you have to rely more so on positioning and take percentage plays. Peaking corners and windows and such like is going to get you killed more so, as what you see may not actually be accurate with the performance issues and the frame drop and you can take damage around the corner as well as you try to evade it. Of course, if you aren't bothered about dying much, or you take the opinion that the frame rate issues apply to your enemies as well, possibly, then, you know, go nuts. Be super aggressive, have your fun, and just see what the result is. The choice is yours. So yeah, anyway, don't freak out if you feel like you're getting insta-killed or taken down by super bullets. It's likely not just you, and I figured I should bring you this information that I've been seeing thrown around. Hopefully it'll clear up either after more playtime, or when dice put into effect a hotfix or another the update. This doesn't make it okay, as I said, but eh, it's not the biggest issue in the world. But as we're talking about issues, let me highlight something here that I would really, really like to be looked at. Where are the footsteps in this game now? I barely hear them at all anymore, I feel like. And I'm someone that's used sound extensively in first-person shooters for a very, very long time. It's something I really like to do, so I can definitely notice some kind of difference, I feel like. I know my stream has heard me talk about this at mixer.com slash getgoodguy, shameless plug, uh, but I haven't really spoken spoken about it in a video. I feel like a lot of the time I either don't hear the enemy around me anymore or I just hear like the final step or two. I don't really hear them approaching me and sometimes it's hard to tell which direction it's even from. It's a bit off to me and I'd like to know if you guys have noticed similar. I've had quite a few people tell me so far that they haven't been able to hear footsteps properly for a little while either. So yeah, please tell me if you found that or not. Like for a specific example, one of the audio things that really sticks with me in both Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 1 is how loud it is when you climb ladders. But just the other day, I was stood literally at the top of a ladder, and I didn't hear an enemy climb all the way up right below me. And this has happened before as well. He climbed up right next to me and took me down. Like, what happened? I'm a bit lost, and I've not heard anyone from DICE mention the footsteps or audio cues recently. So yeah, not really a complaint again, but just me searching for answers, as it's kind of driving me insane to be honest. But back to the point at hand. I've got a bit of time, I've got some more energy, so we'll talk a little about Operation Underground itself. Now I've played some more of it, as we focused on it a little bit today, and this is aside from the performance issues I mean. Some of you will have seen my previous video of my first game on Operation Underground, and I've played more since and formulated some more informed thoughts. So Conquest, I really like it. It's manic, it's crazy, there are moments where you have little control, and I don't want to play that all the time, but it fills a gap that Battlefield 5 absolutely had. There wasn't really an experience like Operation Underground in the game. So while it may not be for everyone, you may be someone that doesn't like it, and that's perfect cool. I know some people really don't like it, but it's great to have more variety. We don't want to have the same experience on all the maps, otherwise it gets old. And it appeals to less of an audience. And having Operation Underground being super action-packed helps to balance out Aus and Dan being pretty damn slow. So hopefully at least one map appeals to you as a player from the ones we've got in recent times. Now, Breakthrough on Operation Underground so far isn't really for me. I feel like there's a lot of people staring down corridors, but I'm not much of a Breakthrough fan usually anyway. And for some people, this is exactly the gameplay they wanted, so fair play to them. Oh, and actually, Squad Conquest, I played it on that as well. It seems pretty cool on Operation Underground. I like the design of it, so I'll be playing more of that. And overall, I think the aesthetic of the map is really cool. So a thumbs up from me overall, except for the performance issues. And so that's, well, a few things I've covered today, actually. Now I've gone off on some tangents. But the main thing being that we've covered why you might be experiencing some unfair gunfights, what you can do about it, and that we can hopefully expect it to clear up in the
the not too distant future. Now I hope you enjoyed or found the video helpful. If you did, hitting the like button really is huge for me. It means a lot. Thank you so much. As is subscribing and turning on notifications so you can stay up to date with my future content. You can also catch me streaming as mentioned earlier at mixer.com slash get good guy. A link is in the description. And while you're down there, feel free to join my Discord server. Here's the board of awesome for the epic people who support the channel on Patreon. They're all absolute heroes and loved more deeply and of course, often. If you want to join them on the board of awesome, the link to the Patreon page is in the description and my pinned comment. And with that all said, I'm Get Good Guy and I'll see you next time, latest. Oh, there's a lot of people over there. Let me pick this dude up. Oh, that nade needs to go first. No, teammate, you're going to be right on the nade. What is happening? Team. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's everyone doing? Oh, God, no. Oh, my days. What is happening? Someone heal me. Don't see me. <laughs> what the hell is happening?